Okay, hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Here I have Kaz with me now and Kaz is trying to get his axle back. You did axles when you were a, just a little boy, but you haven't done one in a long, long time. So yeah, so many decades. So Kaz would love to, like many adult skaters, Kaz would like to do his, his axle again. And so you've already, you're already pretty familiar with my approach to learning the axle. So you're already pretty good with doing this takeoff position, right? You, you, can, you can go on a, on a forward outside edge. Let's check out Kaz's takeoff position. This is right after he steps on his takeoff edge. Yeah, so he's got a deep edge. It could be a little deeper, but it's probably deep enough to be an axle. And now let's uh, let's get the free leg in a more ideal position. So a little bit more space between the two legs. This is what I would recommend. So the free leg is inside the curve and it's not too close in here to do the axle. You're gonna start from here and you're gonna let it go swinging on through on the takeoff. Yeah, that's more better. That's a better uh, position for the axle. Now, can you get into that position from the right back outside edge? So in other words, you're gonna do the mohawk. You're gonna go on your right back landing, landing position basically, and then you're gonna go onto your takeoff edge. And landing position back outside and stepping onto a takeoff edge. Good, so he didn't have any flats either on the back outside edge or on the forward outside edge. This is something that many skaters struggle with in learning this Mohawk setup for the axle. Uh, the one thing that I would recommend is the jump is going to get better if you don't push into it. I, I think, and I found this from experience, and many good skaters, they don't push onto the, uh, the, the, the edges, the takeoff edges, like right before the jump. They just change weight from one foot to the other. So if you could, let's do this exercise, this rhythmic exercise, where we get our speed, not here, but stroke. Now I got speed. You see how I change my weight without pushing. In other words, I don't let this toe pick touch the ice as I do this mohawk. I don't push there. Can you try that? That's quite difficult actually. But if you were able, to, if you master this skill, yeah, just change your weight. Already getting better, right? Right. Now continue that rhythmically. Ba -da, ba -da. And you're gonna do a waltz jump when you're comfortable, okay? Da, ba -da. And waltz jump. Okay, so you wanna try to keep the rhythm going, which your rhythm wasn't too bad. When you actually went to do the waltz jump, I think you stepped on a little shallower edge. You did something different in the Mohawk right before the waltz jump. So try not to think about the waltz jump. Yeah, you're gonna plan ahead, but try not to do anything differently on that Mohawk. Yeah. Instead of doing a three turn, you're gonna do a waltz jump. So to get a rhythm going, first of all, ba, da, da, ra. Ba -da, -da, da da Good. Yes. Very good. So, are we ready to try the axle? Now, that is a little bit more speed than necessary. That's, uh, so for learning the axle, you might want to slow it down a little bit to take a little bit of the fear away because if you fall down 
you know, with more speed, you're, you're gonna, you could hurt yourself more, right? It's a little bit scary, so do it slower. And you remember, like, if you're gonna do it slower, in order to get the same position, you have to be on a smaller curve. So you're gonna, maybe, maybe just, maybe this is enough speed here. Ba-da, 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 ba-da. And then into a waltz jump. Try that. Da -da. Everything's going to be the same except you're on a smaller curve and you have less speed. Try not to push onto this edge. And ba -da. okay, well you went for the axle instead of the waltz jump, which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now, um, but before we even do the axle. I have to check and make sure that you can do a good backspin. And you know what I mean by a good backspin, right? Uh, I think this is quite important before you even try an axle. I think uh, you want to learn because you want to learn this basic skating skill, the skating skill of being able to go on an inside edge right onto a back outside edge into the backspin position because if you're not in that position in the air you're not going to land on a back outside edge. I mean yeah okay it's possible to do an axle the old-fashioned way without crossing your feet in the air in a backspin position but uh, you're used to the backspin position from loop jumps and flip jumps and things so let, let's see your backspin. You want to start with this three turn uh, because your, your free leg is going to be inside the curve and you do a three turn, the free leg is still inside the curve. Let's see that three turn. A three turn inside the curve, yes. Yes. Yeah, you over rotated it a little bit so you got to get a little, to do this three turn you well, you need to have the same depth of edge, back outside edge as forward inside edge the same depth and then you're controlled you're not rotating right yeah nice very good okay so now if you do a deep forward inside edge and a very shallow back outside edge that will be a backspin but with the same free leg action during the three turn right so backspin there and into the backspin yeah okay think backspin don't think three turn now now we're on to the backspin so let's see uh, if you can get the backspin centered start with a nice deep edge and backspin not bad okay so you got right onto the back outside edge at the beginning of the spin yeah, it's not perfect, but maybe it's enough. So you've got all the necessary skating skills now to do an axle. Is there any other way that we can sneak up on this jump 